adult sections. Mm -hmm. yeah. Awesome. Okay. Yeah. Um, and how many of you uh, read comics or graphic novels outside of your professional library uh, existence? Friends. <laughs> <laughs> Cohorts. Awesome. Well, that's good. All right. Um, all right. Um, the year is 1965. A little boy about eight years old walks into, uh, handheld by his uh, doting grandmother, walks into a Kmart store in Atco, New Jersey, and uh, points to a vending machine filled up, oddly enough, with comic books. It's pointing toward a particular comic book at once. This comic book has a costume uh, person fighting another costume person on the cover. One of the costume people is wearing a kind of like a red costume with uh, with black webs all over it, with uh, black and white eyes. The other uh, costume person has an entirely green costume with a kind of long uh, tail light green thing uh, kind of like coming out of the back of it, and they're kind of thrashing around with the water in the water, um, having a battle. Well, it should come as no surprise to you that that uh, little eight-year-old boy was me, and uh, that comic book was the first comic book in my own personal collection, uh, Amazing Spider-Man number 29, October 1965. That was 44 years ago, approximately. Uh, I've been a, proud to have been a comics fan for that long. Uh, I think I'm... Uh, as rabid a comics fan now as I was uh, when I was eight. And that kind of drives and fuels uh, my interest in graphic novels in libraries. Uh, my name is David Lisa. I am a consultant with the New Jersey State Library. Um, was a library director uh, here in West uh, Long Branch, neighboring community, uh, since moved on to uh, the State Library and Consultant position. According to my website, I'm a librarian, gamer, and pop culture enthusiast living in New Jersey, and that just about says it all. As you, um, so Wikipedia, and if you have never gone to Wikipedia to read about the definition of what a graphic novel is, you probably should, and it goes on for quite a long ways, but basically what it says is a graphic novel is a type of comic book, usually a lengthy and complex storyline, um, similar to those of novels, and that's really what we're talking about. But the big thing here is that comics equal graphic novels. Um, Will Eisner's A Contract with God is generally recognized as uh, the first official use of the term graphic novel. But again, comics equal um, graphic novels normally. Now you're generally going to have trade paperbacks which are, which are made up of collections of uh, individual comic books brought together to uh, preserve the storyline, which I think is a very good thing. And then you're going to have items like blankets, which uh, are brought together um, as unique storyline and published, storylines and published as graphic novels uniquely. That's the cool thing about what's going on. So as you may know, the popularity of graphic novels in libraries continues to go, to grow, and having a dependable collection development information is very important, and that's kind of like um, why we're here today. We want to help you and your library's uh, graphic novel collection with suggestions from our distinguished panel of librarians, who just happen also to be comics fans. So, um, based on your uh, show of hands, um, I have very good news for you today. We have something for all of you. Today you're going to hear about the best graphic novels published during 2008 uh, during, excuse me, in adult, young adult and children's categories. Um, and let's meet our panel members right now. Senior Reference Librarian Laverne Mann's coordination of the Mid-Jersey Comic Con as well as her extensive graphic novel collection development at the Mercer County Library, Ewing, earned her position as one of Library Journal's top library marketing professionals in their 2009 mover and shaker lists. Laverne is also the author of the internationally acclaimed Redhead Fangirl blog, 
ladies and gentlemen, Laverne Van. Her blog rocks. As a YA librarian at Ocean County Library and a former social studies teacher, Carla Iverson is interested in graphic novels for young adults with a special focus on nonfiction titles about historical events, ladies and gentlemen, Carla Iverson. <laughs> An avid reader of graphic novels since he was a child, Ocean County Library reference librarian, Tyler Rousseau, speaks frequently on the topic, as well as technology and video gaming. He has recently written a chapter, Comics Go Digital, for the upcoming publication, Teaching Generation M, which will be available in June 2009. Ladies and gentlemen, Tyler Rousseau.